So we had some fun this morning. Our horse managed to get cast up against those tires over there. I'll zoom that in a little bit so you can see it. Over here, that is his rolling spot. And normally his feet don't extend past that. But this time he decided to go way to that side of the rolling spot. And managed to get a hoof underneath the edge of a tire. I'll show you that in a later video. But, uh, I mean, that's just how cloudy seems to roll. That guy is always getting into some sort of uh, problem. We had him one time. Come with me. Come on. We had him uh, one time. Um, he got stuck up against a, uh, a scratcher. So his, his tail got wrapped up in the scratcher. I had to get rid of the scratcher. So I figured, well, this time around, they can use these tires as like a nose scratcher and that kind of thing. And it's filled with dirt. And those things weigh a ton, so they can't slide him or get their feet underneath them. And he didn't actually manage to get his feet underneath this thing. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Let's go. But he did manage to get stuck, nonetheless. So, i got to get this stuff together. Toby, go home. Go home. If you're not going to come with us, go home. Oh my God. The one dog there, one dog here. This one wants to walk. We got to go put your brother away. If you don't want to walk, why do you come with us? Go home. Toby's getting older, and he's just, he doesn't like, he doesn't like going for those the long walks when it's cold out. Ted likes going for the walks. Unfortunately, Ted gets kind of screwed over here because Toby just wants to go home. Go home, Toby. Go home. Go ahead. You go home. Ted and I will head back out. Ted. You stick with me. Go, Toby. Go. Go, Toby. Go home. Okay, Ted. 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 Let's go. <sighs> well, I hope that was sufficiently confusing. Anyways, back onto the horse thing. So the horse, he's managed to get himself stuck into a lot of different things. None of the other ones get injured or anything like that. It's just this one guy, and he seems to always be the, the main issue that we have around here for some reason. And speaking of problem children, I'm going to make sure he's not leaving. Nope, good. He's staying right there. And that's where I want him. But that's about it anyways. I'll show you the other, the other video, and I'll link, I'll link some of Cloudy's other escapades, because one of the other things that he did was got up and underneath a... a uh, a board that we're using as a separator to keep him from biting the backs of the minis. So I put this thing into a, a slot, put some chicken wire above it so that he couldn't reach over and bite them in the back. And it was basically just a separator to keep them away from each other while they're eating. It was just a little safety barrier. He managed to lay down, get underneath it, stand up, and walk away with the damn thing. So he's, he's just one of those horses that's just always in trouble somehow. And uh, I guess that's the way it's always going to be. So I'm going to have to child-proof the entire planet to keep him alive somehow. But my wife always says, oh, he's getting older and he's going to, you know, he's going to die one of these days because he's just getting older. And it's like, no, he's not going to die because he's getting older. He's going to die because he's stupid. 